It's about to come to a crashing end. That's a phrase that people use, right? Right? I think crashing halt, but I'm, which wouldn't be correct in this situation anyway. Substantial. No, it's about to get crazy. This level is insane. I can imagine. I love how that everything's moving, but I'm not. Like, i am got the steady hands here. <laughs> are you These guys face? are the enemies. Good thing there are terrible shots up here, so I can just fire away. Wait, move up. I want to shoot the driver. I hit them. We're going through the bridge. Oh, I only have bullets here. Oh, God. They took an L. I want to shoot the driver. Now we're going through actual traffic here, like, see, this is, this is dangerous. This is real world yeah. bullshit. Oh god. Think about it, Seth, this could have happened while I was on my way to pick you up. We could have got stuck in, uh, all out war. I don't think that would have happened. Whoa! So, I have to RPG this thing down. While you're moving? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Fuck. I- that almost- Big money. This is horrible. That's the checkpoint. Yeah. Whoa, where am I? Bridge somewhere. I think you got it. 77. I couldn't see where I was going. That's that 77. Horrible. Oh, here we go. Go faster! That was very nice of the bridge to just drop it. Stepping thing for you there. It's one of those times where it's like, how could this get any worse? And then it does. You know? 
This is this is the final stand, isn't it? Sort of, right? What? This is the final. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It's a short ass mission. Briggs. Everything's in slow motion. Yep. Lance Briggs, no. Price. Then he pops up out of nowhere. One armed motherfucker. RIP Gaz. Our boys. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. Oh, is that, that was that seventy seven or seventy eight? That scene was intense, I missed it. 78. At least you're honest. I like that. Oh man, How, how's that for some dramatic appeal? Right, you get killed by the very last guy in the entire game. I like how you shot him in the head and he immediately grabbed his stomach. You'd think he'd have more awareness to, like, just walking out onto the, uh, thing there. Than to just turn around and get distracted by that, but... You know, I just realized something else. Did we hear Zakayev talk at all in this game? Like, did he say anything? Yeah, I think so. Like, he, we only saw him in person for, like, 15 seconds in the entire game. That's that's reckless. So I'm in a basket here. So why was Zakayev there? Like, why did he all of a sudden decide to show his face there? Because he's an asshole. See, the media just lied about it and said they were um, tests. Yeah. Because of course they did. At least they make the game realistic. Ah, uh, that's true. Real eyes, real eyes, real lies. Yep. That's it. And Price is dead. Soap's dead too. He didn't survive his injuries either. So what do you think, Rix? At some point down the road, do you want to play Modern Warfare 2? Sure, why not? Cool. I don't know how, though. I mean, Price is dead. Soap's dead. 
Well, they could have come up with new dead. characters. You never know. But I like this is probably one of my favorite games. I like the story. It's I like the levels. It's not really the story. I feel like the story gets a bit more intense in two and three, but I like the levels in this one. What do you mean? You like the levels, but you don't like the what? I the levels. I, I like the story. The story but I like the, just the, how the levels are more. Like it's more fun to play, oh. like gameplay wise. But I feel like the story gets more intense in the next two. Oh yeah, it definitely gets more intense. So what's this? That's these are the credits that we can't skip. No, like what? What is this like? Do you remember that one level we did? Yeah. With this? Yeah. So is this like a flashback to that? I guess. It's something. Or is this something else? I mean, I don't know why they would flash back just to this. Can you control it? No. This is pre-recorded. Uh, I like this. This was fun. How I thought this was a stupid game. That one level was Mr. Really stupid. Mr. 78. So that's the final tally. Yep. I, I was too short of my prediction. I, I thought you would get up to 80. Man. So, you've exceeded expectations by two deaths. Congratulations. Horrible. Um, we could continue the Modern Warfare ones, definitely. And how'd you feel about doing um, the Black Ops storyline? Maybe eventually. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I do enjoy the Black Ops. The first story. The first one, absolutely. Lit. The second one's. You don't like anything with multiple endings. I like it because it makes you feel like you're affecting things, but. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I like it and I don't like it. Because uh, while you feel like you're controlling things, like. One guy dies, and then the other way he doesn't die, and then, then they release a game, afterwards that happens like forty years in the future, and they can't e they can can't even mention like the, those characters like they mention them like once or twice, but that's it. And they can't mention whether or not they lived or died or how they died because there's like, well you know like they, could have died or lived. Like, what's-his-face could have been alive, or he could have been killed, depending on where you shot him. I did like, I, I did like the first Black Ops story a bit more, so we could do that, we could do... Black Ops 2 is still the best game for me, though, even though the storyline wasn't that great. We could even, like, alternate. Like, we could do this one, then the first Black Ops, then Modern Warfare 2, then Black Ops 2, then Modern Warfare 3. Even just to change things up a bit. You never know. There's going to be... Yeah, I'd rather just do all three Modern Warfares first, and then do Black Ops at a later date. That could that could, that could work, too. It doesn't really matter. I don't feel like doing all these at once. Like I said, I just played them all. So. Yeah. But, except for this one, that's why we started here, because you don't have this one. Who's spitting the heat? Is that Griggs? <laughs> it could be. Spitting fire from beyond the grave? Hope this isn't copyrighted. This is some heat. <laughs> uh, senior paralegal Cap Kang. We should look and see if there's any uh, 2K worthy names. Suzanne Rude. Oh, we almost had one. Stansberry. It's close enough to Strawberry. Harjinder Singh. Oh, wow. Oh, I think we have a Frank Kaminsky relative, Robin Kaminsky. Laird Malamed. Hey, there's a fox, Jen Fox. That's a short-ass name. Yeah. Sean Gray. S-H-O-N. Peter Von Oy. Von Oy! Oh, they're throwing a lot of names at us right now. Yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to read all this? Robert E. <laughs> Bra Moist Byron Mo Wetterburn. Moises Zett. Barrow Jung. Tom Shua. 
Jaren schooling. For schooling? Tiffany yeah, schooling. Bay John Asgare. Mario Ibarra. <laughs> Luke Louderback. Yeah. Kagan Mavers. William Whaley. John Ann. John A N. J O N A N. John Ann. I've never seen a two letter last name before. Clement Prim. Wait, what's the name under it? Ignazio Ivan Virgilu. Virgilio. Because he's Denny Fang. Indra Yi. Nadine Theo Theozillot. Uh, Marlene Rixford. We're just pointing out weird names in this. Frank So. <laughs> Frank So what? Uh, I still like John Ann. That's my favorite one. J-O-N-A-N. John Ann. Alright, is this the prologue? Or, or yeah, the, uh, the epilogue? Oh yeah, we still, we're not done yet. We still have the epilogue, which is like the, um, I guess the preview for the next two games. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Is that Price's voice I heard? Not sure, I couldn't hear it. Oh, you gotta play this? Welcome to Mile High Club. We're in a fucking plane, Rick. Wait, you gotta play this? Yeah. So wait, this is, who are you right now? I don't know. You, we may get up to 80, Rick. Where are you going? I'm determined to not to not let that happen. It will. So you're in an airplane, right? Now. Yeah. How did they get in? Or how did we get in? Because we're the invaders. Secure the VIP. Let me try to think of who this VIP could be. And how it would tie into the next game. I honestly have no idea. Now how are we not being sucked out? You try it. Probably could. That's a good question, though. Like, you should be getting sucked out. How do you get off of this? How do we get on it, I think, is the better question. I think the question is, how do you get off? Just because... Now that you... Like, you're already on. No use. There's no use questioning it. Like, how do you get off now? <laughs> 79! Shut up, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> I just casually walked out. There's no toilet in here. It's, is this just a room to stare out the windows? The fuck? He, he must have had a nice view considering how um, nonchalantly he walked out of there. He seemed at peace. About to walk into a war zone. Of course, he ran right up to them. You expect anything else out of me? No. Well, you died 79 times. Is that ghost? Might be. Do you actually know who it is in there? I don't know, actually. It's a very vague level. Oh, so it doesn't tell you who this is. No. It's meant to be like a preview. It's meant to defy logic, too. Holes in a plane that nothing gets sucked out of. Unless you guys have some sort of special armor on. That would prevent us from getting sucked out of an airplane. I don't know. I don't believe that kind of technology exists. Well... Oh, he just got back up. He came...
two knives. Delayed reaction. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you knife. Thank God they gave you more than enough time. Did I do it? I did it! With <laughs> the knife. <laughs> oh, exit plane. Here's your exit strategy, Rick. Okay, so wait, what about... <laughs> I, I mean... What? Is that the exit? Yeah. You're sure about that? That's That's how you get out? What about, I thought you were trying to rescue that hostage. We did. But he wasn't he still on the plane? Heartbreakers and life takers, thanks for playing Semper Fi. Oh, they thanked us for playing. No, I guess you were there to, you have unlocked arcade mode and cheats. Cheats are available in the, let's see some of these. So how did that set up, I don't see how that tied into the game at all. Like into the second game. Well, there's a level in the third one where you have to rescue someone from the plane. I guess they changed a lot in it. It was like... Oh. Clearly. No, you don't have to rescue someone in a plane. It's See, the look Russian at all these descriptions. Get inside the ICBM facility. Reach the control room. Epilogue. Nothing. Yeah. See? It's supposed to be very vague. It's a little yeah. too vague, considering it doesn't tie into the second game at all. Uh, well, they probably changed some stuff, I guess. Clearly. So, with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe if you've not done so already. If you uh, marathon watch this or watch this all the way from the beginning in the playlist or whatever, or have been keeping up with us on a regular basis, I want to thank you for that. It means a lot to me that you do that. And, uh, Rick, do you have anything you want to say? 79. <laughs>